Hello, how is it going? It is Fakeo coming at you with another Legends of Runeterra deck guide and today I am going to be sharing with you guys something a little bit different. Over the past few days I've been sharing some popular meta decks, sharing some guides for those decks and how you might take them to ladder so you can reach masters. Please be sure to go check them out. But today I want to talk about my friend Faint HD and the deck that he has come up with and has been experimenting a lot with lately, trying to do a few different lists and then reverting back to where he started. This is going to be a Draven and a Fizz list, basically utilizing a bunch of elusive units and some Brothers Bond and buffs to buff these elusive units and kind of go for a semi-OTK, semi-aggressive strategy where you can utilize Fizz and all the spells to protect him from your opponent's removal, as well as using Draven's Spinning Axe as a way to ensure that your opponent knows you have a way to protect Fizz always. The Spinning Axe can also be used for pushing damage too, which is fantastic. Outside of that, one of the most interesting cards to talk about today is going to be the Golden Narwhal. Maybe a disclaimer alert guys, is that this deck is definitely an experimentation. It's an exciting and different deck. I believe it can win some games, but whether or not it would ever be something as powerful as you'd hoped, maybe not. But regardless, I think this is a very cool deck. It's an archetype I'm glad to visit and talk about on this channel. Because we are featuring Golden Narwhal because it is a 2 mana 2-3 two, elusive with the downside of being vulnerable but it comes down to the fact that we are running every elusive unit we can so we always have ways of being able to buff them and ignore our opponent's strategy and kill them. We are also going to use one copy of Shampoo because unlike the other rally effects it's hard for this one to be denied by our opponent. Deal 2 to, deal two to an enemy is pretty relevant then we rally of course and it's at slow speed. But unlike Citrus Courier, which needs a bit more mana banked up, and uh, the other card would be Fizz's actual spell card itself, which we can get from Fizz here and there, Playful Trickster, those cards can be interacted with, and Citrus Courier is a unit where, as if we bank up some spell mana with the one chance that we play Shampo, it could be quite unique in its fact. Three times Decimate to kill our opponent over the top, Zap Spray Fin for similar reasons to the Elusive Strategy, Attuning and Drawing cards all in one, very powerful for the deck. Yorda Grifter for some value and some warning shots and just to have a bit of fun. Uh, like we tried it without Yorda Grifter. We're now reverting back to where we started. I think this is a great choice to have made because like we kind of want to have a bit of value and a bit of uh, resources to actually make this game go a bit longer so that we would eventually hit our opponent in the face with a big amount of damage. Uh, two times Chum the Waters uh, for the Long Tooth. It can grant vulnerable to enemy elusive units, but it can also act as another kind of elusive unit where we would use Long Tooth on a, a small chump blocker, being able to buff our chum the waters with cards like Pocket Aces as well as Brothers Bond to attack our opponent in the face, essentially. Our three times Petty Officer because it's a pretty good all around unit, which may every now and then provide us with a, a keg for Make It Rain if we need. Most of the time you'll play it for a unit. Draven is pretty just it's a really good utility card right the fact that we run the spinning axes and it's also a wing condition in itself if you flip it being able to get the William death here and there um Draven's is a great fit for this list being able to guarantee that we get some more spinning axes for ways of protecting fizz is great uh three times make it rain to kind of deal with your opponent's cheap elusive units if we have to as well as just taking some favorable trades if need be another way to buff the fizz as well and to just deal a little bit of damage if we need as well we are also going to have a three brothers bond, two cutthroats, as well as elixir of wrath, more ways of pushing access damage to our opponent. Shall we jump over to the mulligan and we'll talk about that for just a brief amount of time. All right, so shall we talk about the mulligan? And as I've said many times before, maybe I should stop repeating myself at this point, that will be uh, playing for the board, playing for the curve is super relevant, especially in a lot of these digital card games. Finding cards like Fizz in the opening hand, Prowling Cutthroat, Golden Narwhal, and especially Draven are going to be quite useful. Now, even though you may argue protecting Fizz is quite important, but you should still be playing Fizz with the mindset of like, we're playing an aggressive deck, we want to be chipping down our opponent. So we play Fizz turn one a lot of the time, even if we can't protect it, it's going to be okay because they can't always protect it and you're missing out opportunities to be pushing damage. Outside of that, uh, cards like Make It Rain in the opening hand might be useful in certain matchups as well as keeping a curve going into Petty Officer or Zap Spray Fin. Outside of that, we probably won't be keeping any of the expensive cards here. Slippery Rayfinder, Shampoo, Decimate, we'll draw into them later. And Zap Spray Fin, uh, as I mentioned, is probably not always the best keep unless you have a good curve. Same goes for Yodel Grifter. Chum the Waters, you probably have no reason for keeping this, and for obvious reasons, we'll not be keeping Pocket Aces in the opening hand. It's always better when played for cheaper. 
Brothers Bond's going to be pretty useful all around for keeping in the opening hand. Um, it's going to, be to, going to be able to buff your elusive units in certain matchups where they can't really deal with them, and you'll be able will be able to push some chip damage throughout the game and hopefully finish them off over the top later. Uh, Elixir of Wrath is going to be 3 off here, but whether or not we keep it in the opening hand, that's going to be strictly matchup dependent. If you're versing a mid-range deck, I can see a lot of reasons for keeping it, especially with the ability to outplay Frostbite a little bit with it, if you need to trade into some threatening units. We'll be able to like use Elixir of Wrath a lot of the time to be able to clear off some Ashes, which is very relevant. Outside of that, um, I think that makes a lot of sense. I don't think for most of the time you would be keeping Make It Rain, if there's a matchup where you're pretty sure they're going to be playing lots of cheap units, especially against um, uh, Blighted Caretaker, you Mega Rain might be a worthwhile keep. You can actually outplay them quite a lot. Actually, I will mention one more thing. We talked about the deck summary. We talked about the Mulligan. Now, for the general strategy of the deck, you want to be kind of setting up your board in a state where you'll be able to finish off your opponent in almost one turn or over the course of two turns. So what that means is that we need to be putting a higher priority on protecting our elusive units if possible which means we should be able to feel comfortable taking damage if that makes sense. Obviously Golden Narwhal is vulnerable, so it's going to be get, uh, getting traded off by your opponent. But when it comes down to like Zap, Sprayfin, Slippery Wavefinder and Fizz, you need to ask yourself like, can I kill my opponent over a few turns or next two turns if I just don't block it and maybe you have to like choose to play around certain cards that they, they may not have in terms of like damage to your Nexus. But that's a general strategy. Throughout the early game, you'll kind of be looking to get as much damage as you can uh, taking favorable trades maybe with Petty Officer and Draven if need be. Yoda Grifter can help for blocking as well, as well as granting you some value. And the warning shots are quite useful for protecting Fizz. But then you have to kind of figure out and kind of plan ahead a lot with this deck. Shampo can give you like a bit of a cheap out. So if you ever draw into that, it's kind of like you don't have to think too much about it. You get to play this for free. And if your opponent taps under certain amounts of mana, they can get really outplayed by it. Anyway, guys, enjoy the games here. Have a fantastic day, and I will be seeing you soon. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> what is... Was oh, Nick we playing this on stream? Was Nick yeah, playing this on stream? On I, dare, I bet you he wasn't playing this deck on stream. Alright, this is... Yeah, this... I keep Brothers Bond, I think. I think we you need do? to, like, play Greed here. I think we just need to play Greed here. Because, okay. I mean, look, look we rolled that for a warning shot. Like, Brothers Bond, like, is a... Well, now that we have two, we for sure just play Fizz. The yeah, just okay. warning shot. The Let's two. get him, dude. Mick makes play. Are you lurking, bro? No, he wouldn't. Most, most, they, a lot of them do not do that. I pull the string. Same exact open. Yeah, powerful opener. It's literally the exact one as last time. Well, let's see if we can get him this time. Yeah. Yeah, we dropped Draven. Pushed our three damage with the warning shot. Yeah. I don't know what there is to think about. If he, wow, that is so greedy and so sick for us. I mean, he could. It's a, it's a race right though. I don't think it's. Yeah, too... but it's a, a one one spider is I think a free. A free trade. Yeah, I got you. Like, you're trying to lose the rake if race if you do that. Yeah, definitely that. Yeah. Okay. Yordle, and then we probably we believe play, use our we'll axe to trade into the rider. So what do we? We could use him next time and kill him. With the slippery wayfinder. Is that enough? Let me see. Is that four, six, seven, and decimate? Yeah, that's enough. Um, we just need to decimate on the next turn. So yeah, I'd keep it. There's no way to really like. Hang on, unless I do this. It's not. That's the way. We 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 don't need Draven to live. Um, I would actually. Um, you need to block the the rider. We need to take less damage here. It no, still the does the same damage because of um. Oh, it does the same. No, yeah. no. Like instead of the uh, Elise, we'll take one less. Oh, it does? Man, I can't calculate it. Yeah, so we'll take. Uh, we won't die to fervor now. Yeah, we're not. I'm not even gonna kill this. We're just gonna go all in on the fucking next turn. Yeah, exactly. I don't think we. I think we have to kill him. Yeah, we have to, definitely have to kill him this turn. Mhm. Mm 
Superior Wraithfinder will give us some mana. Pretty much we lose to Decimate, it is what it is. Hmm. He doesn't have Decimate, like otherwise would he not have just slapped it down immediately? We're killing him. There has to be a way to kill him this turn. I guarantee you there has to be a lethal there. There's there's not. I did the math. That's why kind of why I was like concerned. Uh, we, we, have him down to, we have him down to one again. Do we have any if direct damage need... outside of Decimate? Uh, nah. Shit. <laughs> oh, warning shot. I mean, warning right. shot. We could get another warning shot, but... um. So we pretty much are just fucking... I mean, kind of happy at this point. It's this, it's all the spinning axes here. And I doubt if he has Noxian, like, it doesn't matter, like, yeah. Oh wait, Fizz levels? Oh shit! Did oh, we I didn't for that? Hey. No, we didn't account for that. <laughs> let's go. Let's get some let's goes. Fuck yeah. Don't have fervor. Yeah. Let's fucking go, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't block. He didn't block with the fucking spider. That's <laughs> sick. Not in. That's sick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. This Noxus. What is this madness? Talk to faint. <laughs> Arcanus it's always it's the sick. warm welcome. Yeah. Yeah, Arcanus. Floppy mudkip. On some Fizz oh. Israel. I played this guy earlier. Is he. What is he, he trying to do? He knows the deck. He knows the deck. Oh fuck. We're fucked. The, the fact that he is elusive is going to make this a little interesting. We kind of just have to play our regular units to like, give them some value, actually. I'm going to keep a one Draven. Mm hmm. So what is he trying to do? Is is like Fizz replacing Twisted Fate for him? Or is it a I completely so. different deck? Is it like TFS kind of thing? Or is it more like... I think that's a little bit of an answer. Uh, I'm going to play a Petty Officer, I think, because I might get something no, I agree that's good that's actually a really good blocker into the 2-1 mm -hmm. oh and we actually do get the fleeting card huh we do we do choose this to block yeah, that can matter. all right so I guess we just play that we need like the yeah, value for sure mm -hmm. I am not a is hosting me thanks for the host homie Yep, okay. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Alright, nine cards. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, ah. we don't care. Get yours. Then we kind of have to pass to not give him optimal blocks. Yeah. Whoa. He runs that naturally? Yeah, it's running three of them. Well, I mean, we yoinked one. Oh yeah, we did do. I thought this was, I don't know where, I'm like, hang on, I was so confused. I'm like, where the fuck did coral creatures come from? We yoinked it from yeah. his deck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're at nine cards, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we're chilling. That's cool, I think. Not the worst yeah. make it rain I've ever seen. I don't think there's a play there. Maybe a make it rain if you want to. Yeah, I'm just thinking I got get odds on the one two. Yeah. Or the two one of it. I won't do that. Yeah, it's Yo, not that I much value. I don't think we're super worried about that. No, we're not. Dropping five bits, pog champ, pog champ. Hey, thanks, man. I'll put that towards my next coffee, homie. Strap Draven. Aloha. I dropped Draven. Sorry. Yeah, I think just dropping Draven's fine. Okay. Time for the main event. 
might thermo, but I don't think we care since we have second Traven. We could save it if you're feeling super spicy, but I don't think it's worth. Yeah, we can't play Draven now anyway. Do you just want to play Core Creatures and find some yeah. cards? We probably have to play whatever it pulls, though. Yeah, we have to play something. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, we play a Warning Shot for sure. Yeah. When you that drink cool that warm beverage, what do you think of me? <laughs> Who's drinking a warm beverage? Me? I think you play... He's got six here. mana. You play Narwhal here, see how he reacts to it, and maybe he could play something that's worth chumming. Okay. Oh, nice roll. That's a perfect roll. Except for he plunders me, if that's like what his strategy here is. I don't think it was. If he does, whatever. Ah, oh, shit. We're I think you go Draven. And then we still have Chum the Waters open. Okay. It's Draven time. I'm thinking like if he um, if he plays like Black Market Merchant, I'm kind of interested in tempted to make it rain. Yeah, I can see it. Like we'll I'll see what his it would, reaction. It would is. have to hit the two ones though, and then because we, we could push lots of damage with our wide board, because we are going yeah, pretty wide. Actually, if he and plays Merchant, have... perhaps Chum the Waters is just strictly better. Okay, I think I like Chum the Waters here. Reason. Yeah, for sure. Turn the waters into the coral creatures so the shark stays alive. Okay, sure. I'm just thinking like, oh, you mean the chum? The oh, you mean the actual shark? Shark? I thought you meant this thing. I'm confused, man. I was like, yeah, thinking, the, the shark, so you mean yeah. the chum? The actual chum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I'm down with that. Fakey, you said you'd put it on your next coffee. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of course. Yes, I now know. I will think of you. Yes, I will, Nada. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so oh, no. brain dead. <laughs> I probably could have swung with the I one ones there. I, I, that's exactly what I was going to say, especially yeah, since we have bad. Make It Rain in hand. Yeah, it's all my good. My bad. Sorry, hear me. No, don't trip about it. It's not a game breaking decision. So Fame basically made an 80% win rate deck in Platinum. I'll tell you what though, not attacking Oh yeah, means... Nether was, was running my deck and he won like 12 in a row. Did he really? He, he was going ham, bro. I'll be honest though, keeping the wide board means he can't play Make It Rain against me and kill my shark. True. I was thinking pocket aces and now I'm thinking that's vulnerable, so no. Yeah. No, um, for sure not. Shit, this is kind of interesting. Oh, analyze it. Shampo. Maybe. That's a greedy shampoo. It I is, think, but it could, like, do we I want to be? I think we greedy? make it rain. We make it rain and see how he reacts, potentially. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. So I'm thinking, like, if he plays, um, like, is he in a spot where he's going to play Ezreal to the board? We'll see. Yeah, he is. Yeah. We can't really clear that. No. In that position, though, we could have shampooed essentially, and then he would have developed Ezreal. We would, we would have been attacking into it. No, I understand. Yeah. Um, I mean, we still. Here, let me think. He's gonna, he's gonna attack, and he, he's mystic shotting this turn. That's a hundred percent his plan. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. He's missing starting the long tooth. It's like we could make it rain to clear his board. We could shump po, but then we're pushing like no damage really to be honest. No, not with the amount of mana we have. I think the only play here is make it rain if we want to do anything. We can attack before he mystics. No. No, because he can still use it at fast speed. Yeah, he can. Just attacking with that. Okay. Yeah, he wants to keep it for chump block.
He's got Rex online next turn. For sure. I have 1k channel points, but literally don't care about any channel points besides the EDC shuffle. Because it's dope as fuck. Thanks, homie. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, let I me mean, finish off this game and then we'll do it. Yeah, talk to me, Faint. If he does have Rexo, that means his hand's what pretty much the, committed to... the fuck? Okay. okay, we'll take it. Like, is he thinking that, like, Static Shock... Because we have the Pocket yeah. Aces. Yeah, that might be Clutch, for sure. Or maybe he has some way to push Lethal with Ezreal after that. We'll see. Thinking he was going for a Rex next turn, like uh, uh, it's it's pretty hard for him to do that much damage from hand. I think yeah, well, I mean our only player is open, and I, I can't like he, not. We gotta play reactive. I can't like not present lethal though. So what's the best way of like presenting no, it, lethal? I don't think we have to since we have decimate. I'm just concerned. Okay, like, well he can't he really. He to that anyways. If he lets that go through, I think we're okay. Yeah, probably right. Okay. I'm thinking he might let it through just so he can play Rex, which I think kills us. No, not quite. With the warning shot, that's minus two, minus two, minus two. That's six, uh, eight, nine to the face with a uh, Reptile Rex, I think. See, like, nah, there's no way he lets that go through. Look at this guy. Okay. okay yeah, I'm now I think we Next just... step is Brother's Bond. I For think. sure, Brother's Bond on the one ones, I think. Yes. He's not even putting up a safety blocker, he's fucking weird. Again, I think we can just chill, same position as before. Mm -hmm. And we can't play Rex. Yo, what is up, Defiance? Yep. Boo, would have been a great Shampoo at the beginning. Yes, so I do agree with the Analyze that if we had a Shampooed immediately, it perhaps would have been a great play. If this is Static Shock, we can beat that with Pocket Aces. Yeah, Pocket Aces is clutch here. It really is Pocket Aces, like... There's so many ways of just like... You need like make it. Oh, this. Okay, next step. Another brother's bond. <laughs> I think. Another brother's bond. Yeah, exactly. We just keep, we and just then keep I think static is the ball. call here. Yep. Static Why call. Is he? Static's the call here, and then we could pocket aces elixir, and we're like. Yeah. Dude, we're, like we're, just, we're just moving around the board, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. Fair enough. And now he we has, have deathmate. He has no fucking lethal. Yeah, as long as he doesn't have lethal, we're good here. 79 viewers today. Yeah, um, uh, Nick makes plays rated us earlier. Very nice of him. Yeah, GG, buddy. It's a shame we didn't have Fizz in this matchup. That would have been fucking annoying for him. Oh, I mean, hey, we, we made it work anyway. We made it work. But I can imagine how oppressive it would have been with it. Absolutely. Wait, did we end up putting Pat Cutthroat in this deck? Or did we decide we did. not to do that? No, we, we didn't add it to it. Seen we, it once, yeah. We've, have, we've seen it once, have we? I don't think I've seen it once. We haven't seen it once. No. Yeah. GG, man, GG. Yes, dude. This deck.